I'm sure you've read hundreds of fantasy books if you're a fantasy reader like me. But have you ever read a book where the magic is alive? Well, this book is that book. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this epic, awesome book The Witch's Boy by Kelly Barnhill. And she is actually the author of The Girl Who Drank the Moon. And I think I have this book at home. I never read it, though. Maybe after reading this book, well, it'll make you want to read that book, too. Well, let's get right on to it. It's about a main character called Ned and Ayn. And first of all, it's kind of complicated. You see, two timelines are, like, intertwining and tangled, and there's flashbacks, and the timeline is not secure, and it's not clear. That's why I was confused when I read the book. It's like... There's the story about Ned, and the next chapter is the story about Ayn, but then uh, somehow these two characters are in the same place at a different time while you're reading the book, and it's confusing. But you have to bear with me, because it's a great book with a great message. And as I, and second, as I said, the, the whole book is about a magic. It's like several hundred different kinds of beings, malevolent beings. And these things are combined to one, one not necessarily friendly being who wants to corrupt whatever they touch. And it's kind of like if you, it's like Aladdin where you have the genie and after you make a couple wishes, it's like, I want more wishes and I want more and yeah, it's annoying. And if I continue on, um, it's about a boy named Ned. And there is a bandit who also has a form of the magic, but he's being corrupted. And he happens to be a girl named Ain's father, who who Ain is a, the main character. And Ain's father wants is the bandit king, and the magic has twisted his soul, changed it, and made made him evil. And there's no other explanation. And the evil version of the bandit king, he. He's raising army, the Ot, King Ot's army, and he wants to invade, invade Ned's country. And first of all, he wants the magic, but Ned, he find, found a way to put the magic inside him, to, to, to make it a part of him. And it's not possible for the bandit king to take it from him. And so he gets up with another... <clears throat> very evil, sinister plan to bring two countries in a fight. And <clears throat> it's about a boy and a girl who is learning about their ancient history, about the stories and breakthroughs and complicated timelines and their mother and father, the prophecy, and it's a very good complicated fantasy book. And as I said, what's unique about it is the magic talks. I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of magic, like Sauron's dark and evil magic, Harry Potter's wand magic, and Gandalf's staff magic, and Aragorn's dragon magic. But I, myself, who read more fantasy books than you can imagine, I've never seen a book where the magic talks, is alive, and tries to twist people into doing evil things. That's just a fact. And great book, and I gotta say, I read it like it was a fairy tale, and and I tried to write fantasy books, and my my, it is hard to write. Like, like it's an old, old story told generation after generation. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Great book, and gotta say, it's unique special, and it's also a very thrilling ride of a read.